So you've been watching all these NASCAR drivers run on virtual tracks and virtual cars on Sunday, and it's piqued your interest in iRacing. You've decided to check it out, but you don't know where to start. Well, before you do, let's talk about what it's going to cost your pocketbook before you get started. Today we're talking about how much iRacing costs. iRacing isn't like your average video game. You can't download a copy online or go to your local Walmart and pick up a copy and bring home and play it. It's an online subscription service. You have to be a member and you also have to be up on your yearly payment. There's also additional content fees if you plan to go any further than the bottom level of the content. So we're going to talk about three main items today. One, how much does the subscription cost and how do I get started? Two, what comes with the service? What's included for the money that I'm paying? Three, additional fees. iRacing is what I would call a pay to play service. There are a lot of microtransactions you're going to have to make after your yearly fee to take full advantage of what the game has to offer. So first, let's talk about the subscription fees. iRacing offers memberships in either monthly, quarterly, or yearly allotments. The best deals, of course, come with the longer memberships. For first time members, Membership prices are heavily discounted, typically at 50% almost all year round. For reoccurring members, typically you'll see 20 to 30% off yearly renewals in the fall and winter time. So a one month subscription at the 50% discount will cost you around 650. The quarterly three month subscription, 1650. A one year subscription, $55 and the two-year subscription, $99.50. Now, all those rates are 50% off, and typically, from what I've seen, new memberships are almost always 50% off. Once again, for reoccurring members, you'll want to look for those 20 to 30% off sales around Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Christmas every year. Obtaining membership is as easy as going to the website, choosing your membership level, your payment method, and filling out your personal details. From there, Let's discuss what comes with the membership that you just paid for. In the grand scale that is iRacing, what is included may not seem that great once you do your research as to what classes and races you actually have access to at the start. However, iRacing gives you everything needed to begin your journey and progress through the rookie level competition in either road, oval, or dirt style racing. Out of the 26 included cars, which might sound like a lot, you will find out most of them don't count towards useful license progression and are older, out-of-date legacy items. However, what they do achieve is to provide you with a large, base sample of car types for you to test and determine your interest level and give direction as you move forward what you want to be, especially early on. A road racer, an open-wheel driver, NASCAR driver, etc. Not only due to license progression, but you will also want to know what your area of interest and expertise lies so you plan your investment properly and where you want to expand once you grow tired of the base content alone. iRacing includes 26 cars and 21 tracks with the base membership. To expand your gameplay, you will need to purchase additional racetracks and vehicles separately to continue your racing career. Your first purchase will most likely be tracks as this will allow you to extend the useful life of your currently owned cars. Once you're ready to take on a new series, get a license promotion, or try something new, you will want to begin purchasing additional vehicles. Cars cost $11.95 each. Tracks cost $14.95 each. One note for tracks, typically if a track offers a road course and oval at the same location, those come as one price. You only pay once. For instance, if you buy Daytona, you get Daytona the oval and Daytona road course for the same $14.95. Updates to content come free, so a modification to an existing track or car is included. However, for instance, if NASCAR releases a new body type or car manufacturer for a new season for the new year and iRacing chooses to release it, this would be an additional purchase. You do receive bulk discounts, and I would recommend using them. Buying three to five pieces at a time is 10% off. If you buy six or more pieces at a time, this is a 15% off. Once you own 40 pieces or more, all future purchases from then on are 20% off for life. If at any time you achieve the owning it all, you receive a 30% discount on all future new content from that point on. I would recommend using the 15% discount until you receive your 40 piece discount. 
Choose your series carefully and know you don't need to buy all content at once. Beyond what is included in the base membership, as of spring 2020, iRacing has a total of 68 cars and 76 tracks available for purchase beyond what is included in the base membership. Just to give you an idea of the cost, if you were to buy all content individually at no discount rate, that's nearly $2,000 of purchases. To put things into perspective, if we wanted to be a NASCAR driver, and let's say own one of each type of NASCAR vehicle in the main series, so NASCAR Truck, NASCAR Xfinity, and NASCAR Monster Cup, and be able to race all major NASCAR tracks, we would need to purchase 33 pieces of content. This wouldn't get us to the 40-piece discount, so we'll look at applying a 15% discount to all of this. It would cost about $400 in additional purchases to allow us to run all NASCAR content. You can do the math yourself on your preferred content. The important thing to remember is you don't need all content at once. Buy it as you need it or want it. Although iRacing is expensive, I didn't make this video to knock it. Just to let people know it is an investment, and this is why the vast majority of the population take it seriously, and to let all those newcomers to know what the cost expectations are up front. If, for some reason, you have to cancel your membership or you feel like taking an extended break, you do get to keep all your purchase content once you re-up your membership. So is iRacing for you? Yes, it may be expensive, but for a low 50% one-month membership of just under $7, it's worth the time to give it a look. Just remember, rookie class racing is a mess. You will get frustrated, so put in the time, get to D-Class, and see what iRacing truly has to offer before you make your final judgments. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you out on the track.